All right, so this IXL deals with converting rates and measurements of customary units. Right here, you see this? I've got this rate conversion thing that you got in class. Did you get this thing out? Um, you probably stapled it into your notebooks or glued it into your notebooks. Also, nothing else. Get a notebook out and a pencil. You're going to watch me. I'm going to be writing things down. You should be writing things down. And calculator. I can use a calculator for this too. Okay. Let's do some math. Let's do some math. 60 inches into feet. Now, I'm going to show you how do I, how do I set this thing up. Now, why am I going to set it up on an easy problem like this? I'm going to set it up so that you can see what's going on. So I know that one foot equals 12 inches, which means that x feet equals 60 inches. And at that point, it's a cross multiply and divide type of problem. So that's the setup for unit conversion. That's how you would set these things up. So if I cross multiply and divide, it's 60 divided by 12. Now, yes, I recognize it's 60 divided by 12, and most of you can do that without all my conversion stuff. But when, when things get more complex, that idea is going to be helpful. Okay, so 48 ounces. Once again, I'm going to show you how to do this. Ounces to pounds. Okay, so I come down my thing and I have to find some kind of a connection between ounces and pounds. Ounces and pounds. One pound is 16 ounces. Okay, let's use that. So, one pound equals 16 ounces. So x pounds is 48 ounces. And if I cross multiply and divide, I end up with 4. Haha! <laughs> I don't end up with 4. I end up with 3. Because I actually did that. Ah, keep going, Bar. Keep going. Yep. I'm going to use this video. Yeah, I make mistakes. It's crazy. Got it. 15 teaspoons into tablespoons. Okay, so I need a connection between teaspoons and tablespoons. Teaspoons and tablespoons. Teaspoons and tablespoons. Three teaspoons is one tablespoon. Okay, so I have three teas equals one table. So I have 15 t's to x tables, cross multiply and divide, so that's going to be 15, 3x equals 15, so x is going to be 5. Okay. Okay. Brilliant. Pounds and ounces, so this is one that I actually know. So I know that one pound is 16 ounces. So 43 pounds would be X ounces. So cross multiply and divide, that's going to be 43 times 16. So that's 688. Great job. 58 yards in the feet. Well, I know that's just 58. One yard is three feet, so I'm going to multiply that by three. So 58 times three, 174. Keep it up. 36 inches. Well, that's three feet. Let's just do the math. Okay, so inches to yards. See, I don't know if I, this thing probably doesn't have an inch to yard conversion. Well, I know that. What do I know? What do I know? I know that 12 inches equals one foot. And I have 36 inches, which means I have three feet. 
and I know that three feet is one yard. So it's, what, one yard? Okay, pounds and ounces. So, 802 pounds, I'm setting this up wrong, equals X ounces, and I know that one pound is 16 ounces. Cross, multiply, and divide, so it's 100 and, what, 802 times 16, 12,832. 12,832. 44 ounces in the, is how many pounds? Okay, so I know that 16 OZs equals one pound. So 40, 144 ounces is X pounds, cross multiply and divide. So it's gonna be 16 X equals 144 and then divide by 16. So 144 divided by 16 is nine. Awesome. Another pounds, ounces thing. So, what do I know? One pound equals 16 ounces. 976 ounces to X pounds. Cross, multiply, and divide. That's going to be 976 divided by 16, 976 divided by 16, 61. Ooh, convert to find the equivalent rate. Check this one out. 16 inches per week is inches per hour. Well, how about this? A hundred and, hmm. Well, I did not, I wonder if I, did I teach this? This is still, let's, let's do it. So I know that 168, okay, so 168 inches in a week, let's divide that by seven, and that'll be inches in a day. That's 24 inches, so I have 24 inches in a day, and then divide that by 24, so 24 inches in a day divided by 24 equals one inch per hour. Okay, so I have ounces a day, pounds a day. So this is just gonna be ounces converted into pounds. So I need to convert ounces into pounds. So I have 16 ounces is one pound, 592 ounces is X pounds. Cross, multiply, and divide. So that's gonna be 592 divided by 16. That's gonna give me a 37. pounds per minute, pounds per second. Okay, so three, basically I'm converting minutes into seconds. So if I do 300 pounds per minute, if I divide that by 60, that's turning minutes into seconds. What's that gonna be five? Five. Come on, bar. I got a ribbon, yay. I'm turning this into, I do 780 per minute. How many is that per second? So it's 780 divided by 60, so 13. I'm gonna speed it up a little bit. Ounces per second, tablespoons a second. Okay, so this is, I need to go ounces into tablespoons. That is one that I do not know in my head. Ounces to tablespoons. Two tablespoons is one ounce. So two tablespoons 
equals one ounce. X tablespoons is 862 ounces. Cross, multiply, and divide. So that's just two times 862. Two times 862. 1,724. 1,724. Come on, get to 80. Good work. Customers per hour, customers per week. All right. So I'm going to go cust customers per hour. So I'm going to go multiply this guy, 236 times 24 hours. That's going to tell me how many customers I have in a day. Times 7 is going to turn it into the number per week. So 236 times 24 times 7, 39,000. 39,000, 3, 39,648. Boom, correct. Okay, I got up to 81 ounces per hour, pounds per day. So this has a couple different conversions going on. You keep working on that. Um, I haven't taught it to you, but I think the, yeah, give it a shot, see what happens. 20 minutes or get to 100. Thank you for watching. And I do know that later on, um, in another lesson, I think, or I don't know what lesson this goes with. I will teach this. This is a two-step conversion, and I will teach it eventually. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching.